The film opens with Mr. Wei, the owner of Yunma Jewelry Group, and his close friend attending a press conference together. After the conference, Wei video calls his girlfriend, Chao Si, who is studying abroad. Chao Si appears on the call, claiming she's tired and wants to sleep after a long day of studying. Wei feels upset by her coldness and recent change in behavior towards him. Chao Si ends the call and takes off her jacket, revealing that she was just teasing him and has actually returned from her trip to surprise him. Wei expresses his frustration to his friend, blaming himself for allowing Chao Si to travel and be away from him. His friend tries to calm him down, reminding him that she went for her studies and is simply busy. However, Wei insists that long periods of absence create distance between loved ones. Suddenly, Wei receives a call, informing him about a package he needs to collect. Upon exiting, he finds Chiao Shi standing before him. She expected him to be happy, but he treats her coldly, questioning why she didn't inform him about her return. She responds that she wanted to surprise him. Meanwhile, Xiao is working at her cafe. Leon stands beside her, drawing on the glass. Xiao is smitten with Lian and wishes he would confess his love for her, despite him being younger. She doesn't see the age difference as an obstacle and tries to get his attention and talk to him, but he ignores her. Feeling disappointed, Xiao offers him free tea and cake as an apology for his behavior. Xiao replies to him in a less than pleasant manner, angering Leon. He throws the cake at her, telling her not to speak to his fiance that way. Xiao is shocked and scolds him, asserting that there's nothing between them and he has no right to claim her as his fiance. A customer appears, forcing Xiao to leave Lian and attend to them. Lian decides to prepare a surprise for her. After work, Xiao goes to talk to her friend, Xing, and tells her about Lian. Xing is only interested in her own personal experiences and doesn't offer helpful advice, as she doesn't understand much about relationships despite being married. Xiao remembers her memories with Xing's husband and how she used to leave him to cook and clean for a year. Xiao gets bored with Xing's talk and decides to leave Xiao Xi and tells her what happened. Xiao Xi Edway, since she's back, Xiao responds that he's arrogant and proposed to her despite their long relationship. She tells Xiao Xi that she got a good job opportunity with a famous artist. Xiao asks her about her decision to stay or travel again, to which Chao Si replies that she hasn't made up her mind yet. Wei, who is behind Chao Si, takes the phone and hangs up on Xiao, wanting to spend time with Chao Si. Xiao is surprised by her friend's behavior, but receives a message from Lian asking her to come to the cafe. She goes there and finds Lian has decorated the place and is playing a song for her. Lian makes a romantic gesture with his fingers, and Xiao claps her hands happily. They spend a lovely time together. As their time comes to an end, Xiao thanks him for what he did and asks him to clean up the place before she leaves. Lian calls someone and informs her that Ms. Shue wants to talk to her. At the same time, while Lian is walking down the street, a group of guards stop him and take him by force. Lian tells them that these are Ms. Shue's orders and they must take him to the airport to travel. He calls Chiao Si and informs her of what happened. Chiao Si sees Wei and tells him what happened, so he decides to go with her. Shue confronts Xiao and demands that she stay away from her brother, Lian, and forget about him, as she is taking him with her to travel. Chiao Si and Wei arrive and stand in front of the car. The guards get out and fight them. Afterward, the guards take Lian and leave. Wei and Xiao Xi go to the cafe. Xiao is upset with her sister and gets out of the car. Lian comes to her and tells her that he loves her, but has to travel, promising to return soon. He asks her to wait for him and hugs her. Lian goes to get into his sister's car, and Xiao yells that she won't waste her youth waiting for him. Lian looks at her sadly and leaves. Xiao Xi comforts her and asks Wei to stay with her, to which he agrees. The next day, Xiao Xi returns home and checks her phone. She finds a message from the assistant of the artist who offered her the job, asking about her decision regarding the offer. Chao Si hadn't made up her mind yet, so she didn't reply. She heads to Wei's office and finds it dark. She lights a candle on the desk and sits down. She finds a remote control and, when she presses the button, her pictures appear on the screen. As the candle melts a little, a beautiful ring appears. Chao Xi is touched by what Wei did and realizes how much he loves her, so she calls the assistant and asks her to schedule a meeting. Upon arriving for the meeting, Chao Xi is met with an apology from the assistant, who informs her that they cannot hire her due to a complaint filed against her, alleging that she received training at an illegal establishment. Chao Si is surprised and upset. As she leaves, she receives a call from her friend, who was with her on the trip, informing her about the complaint. They talk, and the assistant notices them while getting into Wei's car. Chiao Xi goes to meet Wei and his wife, Xing, and they have dinner together. Afterward, they go to play games. Chiao Xi receives a call from her friend and becomes visibly angry. She treats Wei harshly, so he and his wife leave, leaving her alone to deal with her problems. Wei takes her to the bridge, where they first met and asks her why she's upset. She tells him that she found out he was the one who filed the complaint against her. Wei confesses that he did it to keep her with him. He puts his hand on her hair, but she pushes him away and argues with him, accusing him of being selfish. She takes off his ring, throws it on the ground, and leaves. Wei tells her he won't apologize. Chiao Xi finds the ring on the ground, picks it up, and leaves as well. Chiao Xi travels again. Lian comes to her and apologizes because he has to take back the painting he gifted her, as it's very expensive and his sister wants it. Chiao Xi understands the situation and isn't angry with him, telling him he can take it any time. Wei is upset about what happened.
Island, and his assistant Wang tries to calm him down. Wang tells him that they searched for the ring all night but to no avail. Wei replies that he doesn't care about the ring and considers himself wrong for spoiling Chiao Shi too much, only for her to leave him in the end. He decides not to show weakness in front of her. On the other side, Joshi takes a shortcut on her way home, noticing the strange appearances of the people around her. Suddenly, someone attacks her, and she tries to defend herself. Meanwhile, Wei is packing his bag to go to her, but he hears on the news about a Chinese girl who had an accident and went into a coma. Worried, Wei tries to call Joshi to check on her. Joshi answers, and he asks if she's okay. She replies that she's fine but wants to break up with him. However, her exhaustion and injuries are evident. She then hangs up and blocks him. Wei is shocked by her behavior and tries to call her repeatedly, but to no avail. He feels deeply saddened and distressed, and the years go by. Chiao Shi returns to her homeland. We see Xiao working as an actress, but she can't perform the scene well. The director gives her a break, so she searches for someone to train her. She finds a person named Nal and asks him for help. Nal agrees, but she imagines him as Lian and yells at him, accusing him of lying and hypocrisy for leaving her and never coming back. Xiao eventually realizes that he is Nal and apologizes to him. When she returns to acting, she performs her role well. Nal's assistant comes and tells him that he has a meeting with the owner of Yun Ma Group. We see Nal going to meet Wei. While walking on the road, Chao Shi sees someone attacking a girl and intervenes to defend her. She calls the police. When the girl comes to thank her, she can't find her. Wei holds a meeting with Nal, who asks him to lower the price, but Wei refuses. Chao Shi remembers the incident she experienced and how Lian saved her in the nick of time. Wei attends his next meeting with Wang, who provides him with information about Nal. Suddenly, Wei faints and remembers Chao Shi. Wei wakes up in the hospital, and the doctor advises him to go to a place to relax and stop thinking about Chao Shi. He decides to go to his hotel in a mountainous area. He gets on the bus and calls the manager to book him a place and send a car to pick him up from the station. At the same time, Chao Shi's car breaks down and the bus that Wei is on passes by her. Wei catches a glimpse of Chao Shi but thinks he is imagining her as usual. Wei arrives at night and misses the station he was supposed to get off at. He calls the manager, who tells him that he will send a car to pick him up. We see Xiao at home with Li and Xing, watching the meteor shower. Xing wishes for Chao Shi's return and Xiao wishes for her friend and lover, Lian, to come back. The car arrives to take Wei to the hotel. He notices a large billboard with Chao Shi's picture on it and feels unwell. When one of the workers shines a light on his eyes, he calls for Wang and asks him if the power is out, but Wang tells him that it's working. Wei continues to feel pain in his eye. Chao Shi goes to the house of her friends, who are happy to see her. She tells them that she has been in Paris all this time and has been working. Chiao Shi is about to leave for work, but Xiao stops her and asks if she has seen Lian. Chiao Shi replies no and leaves. She looks at the wound on her hand and remembers what happened. She woke up from the coma and learned that Lian's condition was critical and that even if he woke up, he wouldn't be the same as before. Shui, Lian's sister, tells her that she should stay by his side until he recovers and forget about returning to her friends. Chao Xi realizes that Shui is using her brother to keep her and Wei away from each other. When Wei calls Chao Xi, she answers and tells him that she is ending the relationship between them. Chao Xi returns from her memories and goes home. It turns out that she has been working with Shui all this time and taking care of Lian as well. Shui tells her that the next deal is with Wei and that she will be the one to negotiate with him. Chao Xi tries to avoid going, but to no avail. The following day, Chao Xi goes to the doctor because she's feeling unwell. She calls Shui to inform her about what the doctor said, but Shui doesn't care and hangs up on her. Wei is also at the hospital and learns that he has sudden blindness and needs rest to regain his sight. Wei grabs a cane to lean on and goes to the bathroom, preventing Wang from going with him. At the same time, Chao Xi exits the examination room, sees Wei in this state, and feels sorry for him. She faints, and the nurses carry her away and try to wake her up. Chiao Xi overhears them talking about Wei and his blindness. Chiao Xi decides to meet and talk to Wei, trying to learn more about him. Her voice, altered due to fatigue, helps her remain unrecognized. Wei asks her if she's a journalist, and before she can answer, she hears Wang's voice and quickly gets up, dropping her phone. Wang arrives and tells Wei that a girl was sitting with him and left quickly, leaving something behind. Wang finds her phone, and when he opens it, he sees her picture. Xiao is on set, filming a scene. Suddenly, Lian appears, riding a motorcycle and listening to music. Xiao stops filming and runs after him, calling his name, but he doesn't hear her. Xiao Xi goes home and gives Lian his medicine, and he falls asleep. Xiao Xi remembers when Lian woke up from the coma and discovered he had post-traumatic stress disorder, becoming nervous, violent, and unable to remember anything. Xiao Xi snaps back to reality when Lian wakes up and tells her not to go back to her ex-boyfriend. Xiao Xi scolds him and tells him it's none of his business. She remembers her phone and calls it from Lian's phone. Wei answers and tells her to meet him to pick it up. Suddenly, she hears the nurses looking for him to take his injection and learns that he's hiding from them. Xiao Xi laughs at him, and Wei tells her he's going to hang up now. Wei leaves the room and runs, with the doctors and nurses chasing after him. The next day, Xiao Xi goes to the hospital to get her phone and spends the day with Wei. In the evening, Wei tells Wang about the girl who helped him throughout the day, made him laugh, and got him to take his injection. The
The next day, Chiao Xi goes to visit Wei again. He was waiting for her, and when she tried to surprise him, he guessed it was her. Chiao Xi asks him how he knew it was her, and he replies that she comes at the same time as his injection. Chiao Xi takes him to get his injection, and he tells her about his girlfriend. Chiao Xi is touched because he doesn't know it's her, and that she broke up with him against her will. Xiao is at a photo shoot for a jewelry advertisement. Suddenly, she notices that her body has turned red, and discovers that she has an allergy. Xiao rushes to get on the elevator and calls Xing, not noticing Li Yin entering. The power goes out, and the elevator stops. When the power comes back on and the elevator opens, Xiao discovers that Lian is with her. Lian calls her name and asks if she knows him, but she doesn't answer. He takes her somewhere to talk. Xiao asks him why he hasn't asked about her all these years. Lian replies that he thinks they were connected, but doesn't remember and doesn't care. It's impossible for him to fall in love with her. Xiao scolds him and tells him to stop pretending that he doesn't know her and that she's the one who doesn't want him in her life. Xiao leaves angrily. Lian remembers some memories and gets a severe headache, so he quickly takes his medicine. We find Wei sitting with Xiao Xi because there's a deal between him and Shui's company. Wei is surprised that the girl who helped him at the hospital is Shui's assistant, but he doesn't know it's Xiao Xi. Wei thinks she was spying on him, but she tells him that she didn't know it was him she would be dealing with in the deal. Wei mentions his conditions, and Xiao Xi agrees to them. Wei feels nervous and stands up to shake her hand. When he holds her hand, he trembles and confesses to her that he has acrophobia, and even though he can't see, he feels like they're in a high place. Xiao Xi helps him walk, but she stumbles, and they both fall into the water fountain. Xiao Xi goes with Wei to his room to change their clothes. Xiao Xi goes in to take a shower, and while Wei is waiting for her, he talks on the phone, stumbles, and hits his head on the floor. When he regains consciousness, he finds that he can see normally. Wei is overjoyed to regain his sight and tells Wang about it. He hears Xiao Xi's voice and becomes curious to know what she looks like. He goes to her to give her the robe, but is shocked when he sees her. Xiao Xi takes the robe from him and wonders why he was looking at her that way. When she comes out of the bathroom, she doesn't find Wei. At the same time, Lian is standing on the stairs when someone pushes him, causing him to fall and lose consciousness. Wei stops Chao Xi before she leaves and closes the door. He calls her by her name, so she knows he has regained his sight. Wei criticizes her for always leaving when she doesn't want to continue the relationship, and then coming back when she does. Chao Xi replies that what he did was just out of pity, but Wei assures her that he knows that's not the case. He asks her where she has been for the past two years, but she tries to change the subject and apologizes. Chao Xi receives an important message and tells him she has to leave, but he grabs her. Chao Xi leaves him with the robe belt, takes her things, and leaves quickly. Xiao faces a problem at work and tries to solve it because it's her fault and she doesn't want anyone to get hurt because of her. Nal comes and apologizes to her, telling her that he will take responsibility. Xiao is surprised why he would take responsibility for her, so he tells her that he's the producer and owner of the jewelry company. Xiao is shocked and falls into her assistant's arms. Xiao gets in the car and calls Xing, telling her what happened. Xing advises her to deal with him normally as long as she didn't act overly with him. Xiao tells Xing that she's now sitting next to her ex-boyfriend. Xing asks her who she means. So Xiao tells her that she found Lian unconscious and took him to the hospital. Xiao asks Xing to send her the address quickly. Wei's assistant comes and gives him a ticket to Chao Xi's photo exhibition, telling him that it's the last day of the exhibition and that he was waiting for him to recover and go. Wei goes to the exhibition and finds the photographer's name as someone he doesn't know, and the exhibition is full of pictures of Chao Xi in the hospital. Xiao goes to check on Lian and sits next to him sadly. Xing calls Lian's lover, whose number she found on his phone, and asks her to come. When she arrives, she finds Chao Xi and is shocked. Xing asks Chao Xi if she has been with Lian for the past two years because they loved each other and didn't want anyone to know. Chao Xi denies this and says that her interpretation is far from the truth and that she trusts her and will tell her everything. Xing agrees and knows that she trusts her and is sure that she didn't steal her friend's lover. Chao Xi thanks her and leaves. In Lian's room, he wakes up and finds Xiao sitting next to him. Lian tries to hurt her to get revenge on her, but she tells him that she didn't do anything to him. Lian asks her to take him to the bathroom. She refuses at first, but eventually agrees. When he's finished, he hears Chao Xi talking to Xing and telling her everything. Lian gets angry and tells her that she was laughing at him and that he thought he meant something to her and that they loved each other. But the truth is that she was helping him because he's her friend's lover. Chiao Xi tries to explain to him, but he doesn't listen to her and leaves. Chiao Xi tries to stop him and tells him that she will stay by his side until he recovers, but he replies that he won't be fooled again and leaves. Wei calls the photographer and asks him to come to the house. Wei learns that the photographer is Lian and that he has been changing his name. When Lian enters, he finds that Wei has bought many of Chao Xi's pictures and makes sure that he doesn't remember anything indeed. Lian trips over the trash can and falls to the ground. Wei yells at Wang and asks him to bring the doctor. When the doctor comes, she hypnotizes Lian, and Wei asks her to find out what happened to him and Chao Xi. The next day, Chao Xi wears a beautiful dress and tells Xiao that she's going on a date. She goes to Wei's room at the hotel and waits for him. When he comes, he hugs her and apologizes. It turns out that he learned everything from Lian regarding the accident and her 
disappearance. Wei tries to get close to Chao Xi again and uses the work between them to make her responsible for her company to negotiate with him about the new deal. Wei goes to Chao Xi's company and asks her for a desk in her office so they can finish their work. Chao Xi refuses at first, but he insists and gets what he wants. Wei spends his time watching Chao Xi work. Chao Xi remembers when she went to Wei's therapist and learned that he has delusional disorder and that the reason is his love for her and that the treatment is in her hands. Chao Xi snaps back to reality and Wei asks her to have a meal with him, but she refuses. Wei gets angry because she's overworking herself. Chao Xi takes out a box of medicine and tells him that she's taking it and isn't hungry and that she will make coffee for them. Wei leaves, feeling upset because she neglected her health for the past two years. Lian spends most of his time with Xiao and starts to remember blurry memories between them. Wei goes to Chao Xi's office again and they argue because he doesn't want to review her work and tells her that he trusts her. Chao Xi gets angry and asks him to be serious and take responsibility. Wei leaves when he sees her angry. Chao Xi calls the secretary and asks her not to let Wei in again. The next day, Wei goes to his company and finds Chao Xi there. He tries to talk to her, but she treats him coldly and accuses him of being the reason for the cancellation of the cooperation between their companies and Mr. Wu's company. Wei takes her and video calls Mr. Wu's assistant. The assistant tells them that there's a clause in the contract that has been changed and that this is considered fraud and that they will file a lawsuit against them. Chao Xi tells Wei that the contract has his stamp on it, so it must have come out of his company. Wei asserts that he didn't give his stamp to anyone and didn't change any of the clauses and that he just learned about the issue from her. Joshi and Lee head to the company seeking a meeting with Mr. Wei. He agrees and inquires if they have thoroughly reviewed the contract after printing. They assure him that everything was in order and that they are prepared to face the consequences of any errors. Mr. Wei dismisses them, but Joshi objects, emphasizing that such a mistake from Lee is impossible due to his meticulous nature. The team then travels to Mr. W's city to meet him, but his assistant denies their request. Forced to stay in a hotel with only one available room, they have to share it. Joshi attempts to draw at night, but struggles due to her hand injury, throwing the pen down in frustration. A sudden power outage forces her to use a flashlight. When Wei's face unexpectedly appears, she gets scared and throws her phone at him. She apologizes and approaches to check on him, and he takes the opportunity to embrace her. Wei then lights a candle, revealing a romantic dinner he prepared for her. He expresses his sadness that she can no longer draw as she used to, but she assures him he is not to blame. He confesses that if he hadn't argued with her that day, she wouldn't have been injured. He suggests they paint together, and he sits with her, helping her complete the painting. The next day, Joshi goes for a run, accompanied by Wei, who struggles to keep up and stops frequently. They spot Mr. Wu also running and try to catch up, but he escapes them into his house. He refuses to meet them and accuses them of deception. The team meets with the lawyer to learn how to reach Mr. Wu, who tells them his weakness is his daughter. Meanwhile, Xiao goes to the filming location with Leon, who seems happy. Wei and Joshi go to meet Mr. Wu's daughter and discover they already know her. The daughter goes to her father and successfully convinces him to meet with Wei and Joshi. The team explains the error to Mr. Wu, but he refuses to cooperate again. Wei tells him he respects his decision, but will have to withdraw from the project and announce the real reason to the press. Mr. Wu finally agrees to cooperate. As they leave, Chao Xi's foot hurts because of her high heels, so Wei carries her on his back. They go out together and have a fun time at the amusement park. The next day, Wei attends a board meeting and learns that he is no longer the president because he owns the least amount of shares in the company. Wei asks who owns the most shares, and the assistant tells him it's Wang. Wei is shocked but keeps his composure and appears indifferent. It turns out that Wang made Wei sign over part of his shares to him by lying to him and making him think that these shares would be transferred to Wei's account to protect them until they find out who the traitor among them is. And because everyone trusts Wang, no one suspected that he might deceive them. Wang reaches out to Wei, but Wei hits him with a pen in front of everyone. Wang tells Wei that he has lost his authority in front of them, so he shouldn't lose his strength as well. Wei leaves, and Wang takes his place in the chair. Wang then goes to a restaurant and meets Nal. It turns out that they are in agreement against Wei. Chao Xi is sitting with Li and Xing, and they find out what happened and try to call Wei, but he doesn't answer. Xing reminds Chao Xi that Wei had transferred some shares to her, and that if she transferred them back to him, he would regain management of the company. Chao Xi agrees to do so, but stays with them for dinner until she knows where Wei is. When she finds out where he is, she goes to him and tells him that she will transfer the shares back to him. Wei tells her that he doesn't want anything, so she asks him if he has given up and doesn't want to get his company back. Wei replies that he wants to get his company back, but he also wants to know why Wang betrayed him and that there's no one but her who can help him now. Therefore, he insists on her presence in the company until they know their goal. Xiao Xi learns that she will be by his side and won't leave him. Xiao Xi decorates the rooftop and they spend some time together, reminiscing about their memories. The next day, Xiao Xi decides to ask Wei to marry her, to support him, and always be by his side. She takes out the ring he initially gave her and asks him if he will marry her. Wei replies that he can't do that now, so Xiao Xi gets angry and asks him why. Wei replies that this isn't the right time and hugs her. Xiao Xi goes to Xiao 
Xiao's house and tells her what happened, feeling upset. Xiao tells her that maybe he did that so she could solve the problem with his company first. In the morning, we see Wei going to one of the investors who own shares in the company and asking him to buy them. The investor tells him that he will think about it first. Li calls Wei and tells him what happened. After Wei ends the call, he feels hungry and cuts an apple but hurts himself. When he sees Chao Xi coming, he tries to hide his hand, but she notices the traces of blood and is afraid that his mental state is bad and that he's trying to hurt himself. Chao Xi goes and agrees with her friends to help him and monitor him during this period. They go to Wei's house and spend some time playing together. Afterward, everyone goes to the bathroom and Xing stays with Wei to talk to him and find out what's wrong with him. While talking to him, Xing feels dizzy and runs to the bathroom quickly. Li tells them that Xing has been feeling dizzy and tired lately, so they think she's pregnant. They bring her a pregnancy test and the result is positive. The girls are very happy and everyone congratulates her. The next day, Xiao and Lian are at her house and drinking. Due to his unconsciousness, Lian falls to the ground and hits his head. Lian goes to the bathroom and feels pain in his head, so he turns on the water to relieve the pain a little. Suddenly, Lian remembers everything that happened on the day of the accident and falls to the ground. Zhao hears the sound and calls him, but he doesn't answer. Xiao enters the bathroom and finds him lying on the ground. Xiao calls the ambulance, and Lian asks her to go and save Xiao Xi quickly because he can't save her alone. Xiao gets angry and cries. Li takes Xing to the hospital, and the doctor tells her that she's not pregnant, and that pregnancy tests can sometimes be wrong, and that she needs to rest during this period. The doctor leaves, and Li sits next to Xing and tries to calm her down, telling her that he's not sad and that they will make sure next time. Elsewhere, Nal and Wang are sitting together, and Nal tells him that he wants to take over Wei's company and manage it instead of him. Wei enters at this moment, so Wang makes him sit in his place. Nal learns that the two were in agreement, and that Wang never betrayed him, but did that to reveal the person who's trying to destroy their company. Nal tells him that it's not over yet, and that they will see who will laugh in the end. Wang takes out a set of papers, and tells Wei that he bought all the investors' shares, and thus the management returned to him again. And he's the one who laughed in the end. They leave, leaving Nal feeling upset because he lost to them. Xiao Xi goes home and finds it decorated. Wei wants to tell her what happened, but he knows that she will get angry and upset, so he decides to propose to her first. Xiao Xi receives a call from Xue and learns what happened. Xiao Xi tells him that she knows, and Wei tries to explain what happened to her, and tells her that he did that, and didn't tell her anything to protect her. Xiao Xi tells him that she doesn't forgive him, and leaves. Xiao Xi goes for drinks with Xue, and feels very upset with Wei. Wei comes to try to reconcile with her, but she remains angry with him. Wei hugs her, and apologizes for what he did, and takes her with him in his car. Xiao Xi wakes up in the morning to find that Wei has prepared breakfast for her, and left her a message asking her to have breakfast before going to work. Xiao Xi and Xue go to the company, and Lian comes with his sister, to tell Xiao that they are back together. Xiao agrees and cries, and they leave. Xiao asks Xiao Xi to come and celebrate with them, so Xiao Xi tells them that she will move from Wei's house to another house. Lian asks her if she's still angry with him, so she tells him that every time he does something and then apologizes, and that this time, she must teach him a good lesson. Xiao tells her that she can stay with them, but she refuses and tells her that she doesn't want to cause them any inconvenience and that she can stay anywhere. In the evening, Wei comes and sees Chao Xi's bag and asks her to take her to the place she wants. Chao Xi feels upset because he didn't respond to her leaving and asks him to take her. Wei tells her that he will move everything she loves to the place where she will stay to be comfortable and then puts a gift box on it and tells her that she will take him with her too. Chao Xi's eyes tear up and she tells him that she won't go anywhere and that she will be under observation observation for 10 days. Wei agrees immediately and brings her suitcase back to the room. Xiao is sleeping on Lian's shoulder, who asks her what she would have done if he hadn't regained his memory. Xiao tells him that she thought about it before, and found that it's enough that she remembers their memories together. Lian asks her again if she loved him, when he lost his memory, or when he regained it, so she tells him that she loved him in both cases. Wei decides to take Xiao Xi to several doctors to see if it's possible to remove the wound on her hand, because he wants her to be able to paint well again. The second doctor tells them that there's hope, that the wound will disappear Appear, but that it will take time. They are both happy. In the evening, Xing takes Xiao Xi somewhere and finds it decorated. Lian tells her that he wants to prepare a surprise for Xiao. Xiao calls Xiao Xi and tells her that she feels like Lian is cheating on her because his behavior has been strange lately and that she knew his location and found him in a strange place and wants her to come with her. Xiao Xi tries to calm her down, but she hangs up the phone and goes to meet her. Xiao takes Xiao Xi to the decorated place and tells her to get ready to live a night she won't forget. Xiao Xi feels confused because she thinks the surprise is for Xiao and not for for her. Xiao approaches her and tells her that she's the one who should get ready. Wei comes with a large bouquet of flowers and tells her that she will agree to marry him this time without any objection because it's the third time he proposes to her. Wei opens the box with the wedding ring and Xiao Xi holds his hand as he puts the ring on her finger. Everyone is happy for them. Afterward, they hold a wedding ceremony and get married with a Xiao and Lian and that's how the story ends.